What's up, you guys? We're gonna harvest some corn today. Yeah, yeah. But first, we gotta try. I swear, every time I come out here, there's there's hidden cucumber. Uh, that one's not big enough yet. Uh, oh, look at that. Big enough. We're pulling it. We're making some. We're making some pepinos today. Yeah. Oh, oh, unlucky. Well, excuse, well, excuse me. What do we? What do we have? What do we have here? All right. Um, I know they look bad, but I wanted them to dry on the stock. It's, it's pretty dry here in SoCal, so I'm not too worried about it molding or anything. Jesus. Oh. All right, these kernels are dry. You can see how they're starting to get nice and wrinkly. These are definitely, actually no, these aren't completely dry. I can still feel them a little bit. I'd say about a day or two in my, uh, over in my den over there. And they'll be dry enough to grind up. I'll show you guys how we make our corn. I've actually never done it before, but. I planted a whole, I went a little overkill on the corn over here. But it's all popcorn that I got from Costco. And, I, and they all grew. And there's some watermelon down there. And inside all of the, the corn, I planted a bunch of mushrooms. And they've been pos popping up like crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> You guys are witnessing the Man of Letters pumpkin ale come to fruition. These are my sugar pumpkins I've been growing for this year's batch of pumpkin ale. White sages are also ready, you guys. Back, back up on the Etsy shop. Come get your beautiful white sage, California grown. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the garden and I hope it inspired you guys to get cracking on yours.
There go our guardian, our Thoth guardians of the gates, uh, signaling the end. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for sticking around. All right, you guys, take it easy.